Good morning, well staff, families, friends, and scholars. My name is William Lyles, and it is with great pleasure that I stand before you as the principal of Ida B. Wells Middle School. I want to thank our mayor, Mario Bowser, our DCPS chancellor, Dr. Lewis Farabee, and other district, yep. <laughs> and other district leaders for joining us today for, this continued, for their continued service uh, to our community. We appreciate you establishing a space such as this to honor our eighth grade scholars. For the past three years, these scholars have worked tirelessly to excel academically, grow personally, and contribute to our school community. Today, as we celebrate High School Decision Day, we recognize their hard work dedication, and achievements as they prepare to embark on the next chapter of their educational journey. To our eighth graders, remember that your time at Ida B. Wells Middle School has equipped you with the skills, knowledge, and resilience to thrive in every stage of your life. As you reflect on your experience here and look ahead to the future, know that our entire school community is cheering you on and supporting you in every step of the way. We believe in you, we are proud of you, and we can't wait to see all of the amazing things you will accomplish in your high school career and beyond. I wanna thank our families for your endless support and entrusting us with your most precious gifts. To Dr. Austin, thank you for your dedication to our scholars and for creating our high school prep program. I also want to recognize our eighth grade assistant principal, A.P. Coles, and the entire, yes. <laughs> and the entire eighth grade team for their commitment to our school. Lastly, I want to recognize Principal Bright and the Coolidge High School community for your continued partnership as a feeder school and of course for embracing our scholars with the choice to become Colts. Congratulations to our eighth grade scholars on your high school journey, and we hope that it's filled with success, joy, and endless possibilities. At this time, I would like to welcome our very own eighth grade scholar, Malik Tate. Good morning, my name is Malik Tate. I'm an eighth grader here at Ida B. Wells Middle School and today I have the privilege of introducing Mayor Bowser. <laughs> Mayor Bowser is an aspiring, uh, an, a, an aspiring figure in our city, a role model for young people like me. As a Washingtonian, uh, her journey from our neighborhood to City Hall shows uh, that, our, that with determination and hard work, we can achieve our wildest dream from launching youth empowerment program the I meant to okay. to advocating for safe us uh, schools mayor bowser dedication to creating opportunities for young people is proof that she believe in our potential. So as we head into the next chapter of our life and celebrate uh, High School Decision Day, remember that, you, that even if you do not get into high school of your choice, you will land where you should and still accomplish great things. Now let me take the time, I mean, now let's take the time to listen to Mayor Bowser's words and encouragement to, I mean, and Strive to make the best choices for our future. Please welcome, please join me in welcoming Mayor Bowser. Thank you, Malik. Let's hear it for Malik. Give him a big round of applause. He left his band duty to come up for his introduction duties. Uh, and I'm just really pleased to be with the Ida B. Wells community. Let's hear it for your principal, 
Thank you so much, Principal Lyles. And I want to give a big shout out uh, to our public education team. I'm joined by the stage by the chief of DC Public Schools, our chancellor, Dr. Lewis Farabee. Give Dr. Farabee a big round of applause. <laughs> Deputy Mayor Paul Kine is in the audience. He's our Deputy Mayor for Education. And Dr. Christina Grant, the Superintendent of Schools. So please give them a round of applause. And uh, the outstanding Principal Bright of Coolidge, Calvin Coolidge Senior High School is also here. Thank you, Principal. And to your amazing cheerleaders, give the cheer squad a big round of applause. They were doing flips on stage with no mats. And they did great. I love the enthusiasm. And your wonderful musicians at the front, give them a big round of applause. Thanks to the Ida B. Wells band. So uh, Malik said something great. Uh, and he said, you're going to land where you're supposed to be. And that's what we're celebrating today. We're also celebrating what our public schools uh, have been able to accomplish over the years. People are going to get tired of me telling this story, but I will never get tired of it. Um, because when I was your council member, you, maybe you guys weren't born then, um, but I was the council member for this neighborhood. And at the time, we didn't have a middle school in the northern part of Ward 4. At the time, people weren't flocking to Calvin Coolidge High School. At the time, these rooms didn't look like they look now, beautiful and welcoming and bursting at the seams. But we, 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 put, a, we put our money and our energy and our time we had the best educators who came to these buildings. We had parents who were committed to staying in their own neighborhood to send their kids to school. And we have completely turned it around. So Whittier, Ida B. Wells, and Coolidge, mark my words, is the feeder to watch in Washington, D.C. Say it with me. Whittier, Ida B. Wells, and Coolidge is the feeder to watch in Washington, D.C. So what that means, per Marlique's words, is you've landed in the right spot. So I say frequently that D.C. public schools and our D.C. public education story is the bright spot in our city. Today, we are celebrating a milestone for you guys, and it's an important one. I also like to tell this story. Eighth grade, it's important, guys. You starting to make decisions for the rest of your life. Who your friends are, how you're going to spend your time, are you going to be positive, are you going to listen to your parents and your teachers, are you going to be a leader, are you going to make decisions that allow you to stand up on the stage like the three of us? It starts now. You're little big kids. You're little big grown-ups, right? Stay kids as long as you can. Stay kids. So all the adults in the room, the teachers, the administrators, the school staff who are playing a role in changing your lives. You know what these guys do when they come to work every day? They're excited to challenge you, to love you, to keep you on a straight and narrow, and to help you graduate ready for your life. So let's give them a big round of applause. So here's, here's some news. More than 23,000 pre-K 3 through 12th grade applicants participated in the My School DC Common Application Lottery. And that's even more than last year. So I want to thank all the families who filled out applications towards schools and now are getting ready to make the best choice for their kids. 
We have made it a focus in recent years to reimagine high school. I like to call it new high school. Um, and what that means is that we're creating more opportunities that tap into the talents of our young people. We want families to know that we have a lot of fantastic programs in our schools, modern programs that will prepare our kids for the jobs of the future. In fact, last week I made an early budget announcement when I said um, that we will invest $5 million of local funds in our advanced technical center, which is open to high school students at public schools across the city. What that means is if you attend Calvin Coolidge High School next year, there may be a program at the Advanced Technical Center that you don't have at your school that you wanna take. So you're gonna work with your parent principal and see if you can attend the Advanced Technical Center for part of your school day. We also announced that more than $17 million will be invested to bring Children's National Hospital as a partner at the Advanced Technical Center in Ward 5, and that we're going to open a new Advanced Technical Center at the Whitman Walker Max Robinson Center in Congress Heights in Ward 8. We're also investing in the time um, that our students spend outside of school in fact, I'm happy to announce today that we are awarding $1.4 million in grants to organizations that serve kids, more than 1,600 kids um, this summer. That's good. So we know you have your plan for the summer, right? We know we have your plan for the summer, right? Okay, we have some work to do out of B. Wells. We want every kid connected to a summer opportunity. And so we know that our students and parents, we know what they may be thinking right now, that our numbers are great, and they are. Uh, the chancellor briefed me on your middle of the year academic performance. And those numbers are looking up. The chancellor also briefed me on your middle of the year attendance. And he's going to talk to you about that because I hope those numbers are also looking up. And we have good news. Next Sunday on April 6th, we will bring together more than 50 government agencies and partners at Raymond Elementary School, just down the road, also in Ward 4. And it will be a fantastic opportunity for parents and caregivers to find summer activities for their children and teens. And so parents, you can learn more at learn24.dc.gov because we want everybody to have a summer plan. So let me close by thanking the Ida B. Wells High School Prep um, Program uh, for doing an amazing job to support our students and families. DCPS family starting today, you can go enroll at enroll DC ps.dc.gov to enroll for the school year next year. So I'm excited about this tradition that you started at Ida B. Wells to celebrate the decisions that our young people are making today about their next four years. And I know that they know this too, that in making that decision, they're also making a commitment to themselves, their family, and their school community that they're gonna do their best that they're gonna show up every day to learn, they're gonna challenge themselves, and they're, they're gonna get prepared for the rest of their lives. And one of the best parts of this, um, the first thing in this, is making a good decision. So make good decisions, talk to your families, and we can't wait, because in four years, I'm gonna see you walking across the stage to get your high school diploma. Good luck, Ida B. Wells. I'll wait, I'll wait, Chancellor. Okay, the Chancellor um, of Public Schools is gonna come up and talk to you more about how important signing day is. Thank you, Mayor Bowser, for those inspiring words. Mayor, in fact, your inspiration 
for us to rename this school after Ida B. Wells seems like a great decision that we made back in 2019. Uh, as I look at this group of change makers who are living up to the vision and also representing the legacy of Ms. Wells, I know we made the right decision. Good morning and happy decision day to the Wolves. Congratulations to you. Uh, it, it was great to hear the performance by the band. Let's give the band another round of applause. You were phenomenal. And how about the cheerleaders, the Wolf cheerleading team? Now, I have had the pleasure of joining the cheerleading competition, and I heard this cheerleading team won first place at the DCIAA competition. <laughs> Give it up to them. And I, I can see why. You can certainly see why. Also, uh, Principal Lyles, thank you for opening up uh, this opportunity for us to join you today and to celebrate with our eighth graders in the entire uh, Ida B. Wells community. Uh, this is a special day, an opportunity for me. It is always great to be in my ward, Ward 4, uh, but it's also special for me to be surrounded by the educational dream team. So it's led by our fearless leader, Mayor Bowser, but as you heard today, fortunate to be joined by the Deputy Mayor of Education, Paul Kine, and the State Superintendent of Education, Dr. Christina Grant. Let's give them another round of applause as well. But it, it is also special for me because I get the pleasure of joining you on a very momentous day as you make decisions about your journey, as you think about your experience here in middle school, and you take the next step in your educational journey in high school. Uh, I'm really also proud that Ida B. Wells is replicating something that we do, many of you may know, in the month of May, we have our signing day for our high school students that are making decisions about what they do next. And so I'm really proud that you have taken the opportunity here uh, to do the same as students are thinking about what's next as they transition uh, into high school. Now, it's been already said that you are in the right place, but we also know that you're also going to do great things when you transition to high school. So if you know and you believe that all these eighth graders are going to do great things, by show of hand, let me see your hands. Excellent. We know you're going to do great things. And it's been made possible by all of the leaders here, the staff here that are supporting our eighth graders. So all the staff that support our eighth graders, uh, let's give them a round of applause as well. Thank you for creating, thank you for creating an exceptional experience, as Mayor Bowser said, for our students here at Ida B. Wells. We see strong academic performance. We see that you recognize that every day is important to choose to be here on time and be present and be engaged. And so we're excited that you're creating uh, a path of excellence. And I know Principal Bright is excited to know that when you come to, to Coolidge, you're going to carry in those same uh, behaviors. Malik, thank you again for that excellent introduction today. Um, you did a great job today. Uh, and Malik, you are a great example of what's possible when the city, the educators, and everybody comes together to ensure that our students here are excelling and thriving. Uh, if you did not get accepted into your first choice, it's okay. Uh, it is not the end, it is only the beginning. And I say that from my personal experience, I thought I was going to be a health science professional. And my entire career is built off a of pivot when I decided that I was going to be an educator. And so think about this opportunity is to be expected, but also prepare yourself for the unexpected. And know that wherever you are, what you achieve ultimately will be up to you and the choices that you make. And then know that you will have great adults that will be lockstep with you. And in fact, this is just the beginning. When you think about going to high school, many of you may think that that's the end, but that's not the end either. Uh, and DC Public Schools will be with you in lockstep as you take your journey from high school and you go into college and career and higher education. But all of this is a testament that you will be well strong. You will be well strong in your journey. Yes. And to our families, 
Uh, thank you again for being critical partners. Thank you for choosing DCPS and know that we will continue to support your child as they go into high school. I want to shout out our enrollment team that continues to produce outstanding results in supporting our families. It's not by chance or circumstance that we continue to lead in the region. We continue to meet our enrollment goals, and this is just the start of our enrollment season. So again, shout out to the DCPS enrollment team. And then it's now time for us to see a special video. Um, we know that high school, as I said, is often seen as the final chapter, but again, I remind you, it's just the beginning, and the best is yet to come. And in fact, we have a special tribute to share with you today. It's a video created by some of the current students here at Ida B. Wales, but also alumni of Ida B. Wales, so students that were sitting in your seats, but they're now in high school and other places doing great things. So please join me in watching this amazing video. Thank you. 